Well, you've seen the movie Perfect Storm, right? Mm -hmm. And that was a, a really good example of, of swordfish long lining. A long line is literally that, and it could be 20, 30, 50 miles long. A huge buoy is set out on one end, and the buoy has a, a has a sinker device, and the depth is calculated to 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 have the horizontal line of baited hooks be at a certain depth below the surface. I don't know, 50 meters, whatever it is. And then those baited hooks are every so often, you saw that one guy in the perfect storm, he got his hand at it and off overboard he went, right? Because he was going down to the depth of where the long line was being set. And so that, that, that long line of horizontal baited hooks is, um, is a very efficient way to get down deep and to catch a lot of fish with one, with one fishing effort and uh, it catches anything that likes to bite on a piece of bait and that could be sharks, it could be swordfish, it could be tuna, it could be a turtle. And when a turtle bites on it, he's got a real problem. He's 50, he's 50 meters from air and he starts to go up, you know, he, he thought he was just going to munch on a sardine, but instead he gets a hook in his mouth and he starts to go up for air and he doesn't make it. An endangered Leatherbacks, various kinds of sea tortoises, sea turtles are are one of the, the big victims of long lining, and uh, that's why Wild Planet doesn't participate in any long line fishery at all.